Welcome again to Educator.com, and this week we are going over MLA format and citation. Remember when you wrote your book response, I gave you a very, very brief introduction to what citation looks at. Well, now we're going to be going over something much more thorough, much more specific, and it's the MLA format. What is the MLA format? Well, it's one manner of citation, one standard of format that's used mostly in colleges. You'll be using this for almost all of your papers until you start getting into really deep into science or psychology, but pretty much for all the humanities, it's MLA format all the way. So here's an example of what you're going to be going over this lesson. We're going to learn how to format the margins, the header, and the footer of your paper. Turns out we're not going to edit the footer at all. There's no footer in MLA format. You're going to learn about what size of font to use. There are some loose rules and some basic guidelines for this, and I'll, I'll tell you what those are in a minute. You will learn how to make in-text citation correctly, which is very, very important because we don't want to plagiarize. We don't want to steal somebody's work. And we'll learn how to make a bibliography, which I'll explain what that is in just a moment. Margins. Margins are the edges of the paper where you don't have any text printed. You'll find them on the left and the right and on the top and the bottom. And if you're setting up margins for your paper, you need to make sure that they are set like this. Top and bottom are going to be one inch. Bottom and right are going to be one inch. What's great is that this is a standard format that's already recognized and put in automatically on most copies of Word so you don't have to worry about it. it makes it a lot easier on everybody, even your teachers. So, but if they don't, just remember this. Top margin, one inch. Bottom margin, one inch. Left and right margin, one inch, not 1.5 inches, not one and a quarter. This is easier to remember because you just remember one inch everywhere. So, margins. Headers are a little bit more complicated. Headers fill actually the margin in the empty space above where your main text is. And at the top of the header, you're going to have something that will look like your last name, which will be, for me, Gonzaga. And then after that, in MLA format, it's just going to have the page number. So I'm going to put my tic-tac-toe symbol for number. Very, very easy to remember. And you don't have to change this on each page because there's a way to do it automatically. First off, you have to actually access your header. And again, I reiterate, this will be different depending on which version of Windows you're using. And if you're using a Mac or a PC, I'm using a copy of Windows that I have on Windows Vista right now. But here's the example. I just find the header right here. And there's several built-in formats. And I'm just using a specific one. And then if you notice, I have typed here in my header. I've typed my last name. My cursor is blinking right here. And I'm going to select page number. And I'm going to put insert page number. What this will do is automatically, on the header of each page I write, without me doing anything, it will have Gonzaga followed by the page number automatically. 